Hi, welcome back to LGS Microscopes. My name is Paul and today we're briefly going to go over the proper way to use immersion oil on a clinical microscope. Here at LGS we don't just do sales and training, we also do a lot of service. And the number one reason why we get calls for someone's microscope not working properly is because there's oil on the 40x objective. This is normally caused when someone uses the 100x oil objective and then swings backwards to the 40x objective. Then you end up dragging the 40x objective through the oil. Now a 40x objective is not sealed properly to keep out the oil. And just like any other kind of oil, whether it be vegetable oil or mechanical oil or motor oil, you know how it always just gets where you don't want it to be. It works its way into all these cracks and crevices and it does the same thing inside of an objective. If oil ever gets inside of an objective, it's almost impossible to remove it. There are many, many lenses inside of each objective and so it has to go through the entire manufacturing process again in order to clean it. Therefore, it's always cheaper to just replace your objective, and that's not cheap. So we're going to go over how to properly use immersion oil so that this doesn't happen to you. When you're preparing your slide, obviously you're going to need your slide, whatever your sample is. And then a very important part if you're going to use immersion oil is you need to use a cover slip. You just place that right over. And this is so that you don't get any stain or you don't get any of your sample onto the objective lenses. When you're completely done looking at your sample under the 4x, 10x, and 40x objectives, go ahead and lower your stage, then move the objectives to where they're right in between the 40x and the 100x objectives. Then you can add your immersion oil, just one generous drop. Then you move to the 100x objective, and then go ahead and adjust the focus to move your stage back up right until it glops to the objective. Right there. See how that happened? Now that's the oil doing its work. Alright, now the most important thing is not to go backwards onto the 40x once you've got oil on your slide and on your objective because what's going to happen is you swing back and the 40 is close enough that you're going to get oil on there and it's not sealed to protect the objective from that. So you only want to use the 100x when you're completely sure that you've looked at everything that you need to see on the 40, the 10, and the 4x objectives. So now what we're going to do is pull down our stage, remove our slide. To remove the oil you can just use some lens paper. Sometimes it'll come in a little book like this. And there's a bunch of sheets in here. Sometimes you tear it out. These ones are just kind of laying in here. Then you use this lens paper to dab off the oil from the 100x objective bit by bit, just going around the piece of paper, not wiping but dabbing, and keep going until there's no more oil coming off of the objective. There are a lot of videos and tutorials out there on how to use immersion oil, but there's actually a lot of things that they tell you to do that's incorrect. For example, they'll tell you to wipe off your 100x objective, then your 40x, then your 10, and then your 4. And really all that's done is just share the oil all over all of the objectives. You really should never need to clean the 4x, 10x, and 40x objectives, except of course for the regularly scheduled maintenance from a professional. The number one indicator that your objective might have oil on it or inside of it is that the image will appear hazy and kind of blurred, like you can't quite get it into focus. If that happens, then you should probably call a professional to take a look at it. This has just been a quick video on how to use the immersion oil on a microscope. If you'd like more information on how to use a clinical microscope from start to finish, you can always reference our video on how to use a clinical microscope. I hope this has been really helpful for you. If you ever have any questions, of course, you can always email us at info at lgsmicroscopes.com or you can call us at 623-240-2232. Thanks and have a great day.